Good afternoon, everyone. Aquaculture facilities in Nova Scotia have had high mortality rates due to super chilled ocean water killing off Atlantic salmon in the fish farms. This is just another break in the food chain along with the wheat losses of Durham wheat in the United States, Australia, and the Ural Mountains of Russia in October as this harsh winter began. quick look at Nova Scotia on the map. It's in eastern Canada. It's at about 45 degrees north latitude. What's so interesting about this story is there's different reports coming out and different news publications that all have conflicting information. First one here I want to draw your attention to is the sustained cold temperatures drop the temperature of the water to the level that fish blood freezes, which is around 0 0.7 below zero Celsius. The second paragraph states that in February and March there also tends to be high tides which led to flooding of shallow areas that actually pulled this super chilled water in and then killed off these Atlantic salmon. Now Nova Scotia, these are the three areas I've circled in black where the fish kills occurred. But jumping to the Weather Network's report, notice the blue highlights combined with low tides in cool air. So wait, the previous story says it was because high tides brought in super chilled water, but this report says it's low tides and cold air. Critter Files, this is a news aggregate of stories about natural phenomenon. It says the farms have been hit with higher than usual salmon mortality rates, but no numbers are given. And in the Cape Breton Post, the top paragraph states the same thing, that negative 0.7 Celsius will cause fish blood to freeze and cause the fish to die, but then the third paragraph down states fish survive temperatures below zero. This conflicts in itself. You, you, they die below zero, yet they still live below zero. That makes no sense to me. This is a picture of the Cook Aquaculture Facility, which was one of the areas and farms affected. And I also noticed one thing. There were no pictures of the actual dead fish. It was all stock photos of the areas or the facilities. And it just seems this is another break in the food supply chain due to cold weather. We saw wheat kill off and wheat losses of up to 8% in October from early snows in the Ural Mountains and also in Australia, southern Australia. Wheat exports were down 5% this year due to cold weather kill off from the wheat as well as the incredibly cold temperatures that partially destroyed the Durham wheat crop, the winter wheat, red soft winter wheat in the United States in the central areas. Now notice this temperature pattern for the Little Ice Age reconstruction. If you notice Nova Scotia, it matches exactly with where this kill off took place with a dropping temperature gradient. A look at the Monitor Minimum temperature reconstruction where you can see where the greatest drop in temperatures occurred. And interestingly enough, in 2015, Alaska was generally much, much, much warmer than normal and it matches exactly with this. This seems to be a repeat of the same temperature starting to reoccur in this already begun new solar minimum. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. Cold will affect our food production globally. This is the first couple years of starting to actually manifest. As we go forward the next three, four, five years, grandiose losses will occur. And this is when the food prices will drive upward for everybody on the planet.